Hello, everyone. Welcome to Southeastern 14. I am Blaine Gilmer talking SEC football as we always do here. Also cover baseball and basketball. Chris Lee, Blake Love will do a good job with that. So if you enjoy all things SEC, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications as we are going to be delving into all things SEC this fall, whether it is getting you ready for basketball season, talking about baseball offseason, or especially college football here in the Southeast as these teams are about to embark on the end of an era with the four-team college football playoff as it's going to expand to 12 the next year. New teams coming into the SEC with Texas and Oklahoma. No divisions. All the stuff is going to change, so make sure you're tuned in right here as we keep you up to date with all of it. And that includes some additions to rosters because Mississippi State has added a very athletic, a very big, and a very productive tight end in Sadu Treor. Sadu Treor is a guy that you need to know the name of because he is a transfer from Arkansas State, six foot four, 225 pounds, first team all Sun Belt in 2022. 50 catches, 655 yards, four touchdowns, an average of 13.1 yards per reception. This is a guy that gives Will Rogers his most productive weapon that he will have at the tight end position. Had Rylan Goaty there that transferred in from Georgia, a guy that is very intelligent and is a good player but does not have a lot of actual on-field experience and production because he was kind of back behind some guys over there, Brock Bowers and the like, Darnell Washington. He was buried in that depth chart over at Georgia. He's going to bring maturity. He's going to bring leadership, but he's not really just done it in game situations on the field for Georgia. So Kevin Barbe was going to get a guy that was a really good leader but didn't have a whole lot of production. Same thing with Jaquarius Spivey, who returns to the Mississippi State program after transferring to TCU. Now he comes back, but he was kind of a hybrid receiver tied in in the air raid on bo and at both places in the air raid and didn't really, you know, not a true tight end that Kevin Barbe was kind of looking for um, coming over with more of his pro style system from App State. But now he gets Sadu Treor, that is a guy who. Yes, in the offseason, he transferred to Colorado. Don't know why it didn't work out. I'll just say this. There does not seem to be a whole lot of loyalty in the Colorado program on either side. Coaches, players, it's not a, uh, you know, we're going to make this work for uh, forever type thing. It's If it works, it works. If great, not, we'll split up however it goes. So who cares what happened at Colorado? He now is a Mississippi State Bulldog. And to for Kevin Barbe to have a guy that is so fluid, like Sadu Treor, that can line up on the outside and run the fade route in the in the red zone. He makes contested catches. He goes out and gets the ball with his hands, does not let it, you know, get it in on his body. Uh, he is dangerous after the catch, very fluid, a long strider, a guy that if you, if Will Rogers hits him in stride, he can make one guy miss and go the distance. This is the kind of weapon that Sadu Treor can be for Mississippi State. An exciting thing because I think in, in Jaquavius Marks at running back, they've got a really talented running back. I think that they have some receivers on the outside, even with losing Ra Ra Thomas, I think they've got some receivers on the outside that obviously have run a ton of routes over the years in, in, in Mike Leach's uh, air raid system and you know have, have had success being in space. But this is going to make those guys better having a tight end that can be a legitimate, a legitimate number one option for Mississippi State. That's how good. Sadu Treor is with the type of athleticism and the frame that he has. A physical guy. He's not going to shy away from contact. Like I said, he'll make cont contested catches, but also he can hurt you from anywhere 
on the field. There is no route that that he's you know that's off limits to him. He can go deep. He can work the intermediate as well. We'll see how how good he is in the in the blocking game. Kevin Barbe is going to ask him to do a little bit more than that, probably than he was asked to do at Arkansas State. But I like this pickup for Mississippi State. Will Rogers. In my opinion, one of the the top three, four quarterbacks in the SEC in 2023. And I think that he could legitimately be up to number one. I just need to see how he adjusts going from the air raid and, you know, having more everything progression style laid out to a pro style where he's having to handle all the checks at the line of scrimmage where he's having to make sure that he knows, okay, where, what is, what does my protection look like? Who's my hot? How am I going to change things in this pro style system? Do I need to change the run play to the other side? There's a lot more asked, I think, of him in this pro style system than Kevin of Kevin Barbe than what the air raid was. It was more packaged tempo. Uh, this is what we're going to do. If they do this, here's what's going to happen type deal that he was able to, to, to do, but we've seen the production out of Will Rogers. And now you give him a true tight end, a guy that, that is someone that can be a security blanket can help threaten the middle of the field. I think it's going to be really, really good for Mississippi state, a much needed weapon there added in Starkville. Make sure to share your comments with us below. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we're getting closer and closer, guys, about 50, way, 50 days from kickoff as we record this video here. So things are heating up in the summer. Things are heating up when it comes to college football action here in the Southeast. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will catch you guys here on Southeastern 14 to talk more SEC football next time.